Waves is a photo project based on Vancouver's downtown east side. And this is a screenshot of the website. And all of these things are buttons, and each button goes to a different slideshow. And there's lots of slideshows and lots of buttons. Um, a big part of the project is the street poetry that I found, photographed, and transcribed. Cold street streets, aren't they? The kind that goes all the way to the bone. Stiff limb? That doesn't compare to them, those frigid people with ice cube hearts. They have no warmth at all, devoid of the warm glow of love. Now I say it again? Anyways, I'll get back to that later. So, let's start with a question. What is Vancouver? Is it Douglas Copeland's vision of a city of glass? Is it the city of hippies and yuppies that Lululemon pants come from? Is it the most livable city in the world? The United Nations thinks so, right? And this is the guy in charge of Vancouver. Mayor Gregor Robertson, AKA Mayor Moonbeam. You may know him as Mr. Bike Lanes, Mr. Chicken Coops, or DJ Gregor. Now, this is a real photo of the mayor riding on the back of an electric bike in the Pride Parade. And all I can say to you, Toronto, is I'd like to see Rob Ford do this. Uh, yeah, it's going to be hard for you to see this, but it's basically a map of Vancouver overlaid with these funny stereotypes. And, you know, it's funny and it's kind of true. I live in this area here called Lesbians. And I work in this area here called Lesbian Poor People Overflow. And Shit Show is uh, Vancouver's downtown east side. Now, the downtown east side is hard to describe. It has a safe injection site where you can legally shoot heroin. Crack pipes are given out free. Survival sex trade workers are on every corner. Dealers and pimps are everywhere. Crack, heroin, and meth are everywhere. Violence, mental illness, poverty, it's got it all. But the downtown east side used to be a thriving middle class neighborhood. Both of these photos are taken, were taken on the same corner. The one on the left by uh, Fred Herzog in 1958 and the one here on the right just a few weeks ago, and that's taken right in front of uh, Insight. Uh, this next slide is an old photo of the building on the corner of Main and Hastings. This building was originally opened as the central branch of the Vancouver Public Library, and the original Vancouver City Hall was right next to it. Uh, today on the street, it's known as the pharmacy. It's a black market for Valium, Vicodin, Methadone, Oxycodone, T4s, Ritalin, whatever. The irony is that the Vancouver Police Department is kitty corner to that. Uh, this uh, is down the street from that corner. It used to be the Pantages Theater. It was opened in the 20s. Uh, it was closed in 1994 and left to rot until this summer when it was torn down to make way for, what else? Condos. Uh, this is a photo of the original Wood Woodward's building. And the Woodward saga is probably the best example of the transformation of the downtown east side. It opened in 1902 and became Vancouver's favorite department store. Uh, it was the anchor for dozens of mom and pop small businesses up and down the street. Uh, when Woodward's closed in 1993, so did everything else, and the neighborhood started to downward spiral. The site was left vacant for 10 years, but was briefly occupied as a tent city in 2002. In 2004, the city held a design competition, and it was finally torn down in 2006. In its place, a shiny new development made up of 536 market housing units and 200 social housing units. Tower on the right is the social housing, and it looks nice in this photo, but it's actually a very drab concrete building. The building here on the left is the market housing, and it's nicely decorated. And it's, it's very quite nice. But even though a two-bedroom apartment at Woodward's goes for $800,000, Biohazard collection bins like this one are on every corner, up and down the lanes, even on the same block. The downtown east side is a shit show. It was worse ten years ago, and ten years ago, it, or sorry, and ten years from now, it might all be gone. Most Vancouverites want the downtown east side to just go away, but I think it deserves a second look. What do we lose when we tear down and gentrify the last affordable place to live? 40 years, what will, we, what will we remember? What will we have learned? So I document, document, document. I take photos of everything. Walls, doorways, signage, even the homeless, the prostitutes, and even people doing drugs.
last time. Along the way, I've discovered countless messages like this one scratched onto the walls and doorways of the downtown east side. They're sometimes funny, sometimes sad, but mostly enlightening and always important. I like this one. It's kind of like a message in a bottle. Holy fuck. I've been up for five days straight, which is too much. But I'm stubborn. My bills keep coming. Fuck all you grinders. I'll be here 24-7 to pay my bills. Are you willing to suck cock to pay my bills? So fuck. Fuck off, grinders, unless you're willing to suck cock 24-7. I probably walk by messages like this a thousand times before I stop to read one and take it in. <laughs> if we look deeper, if we read between the lines, we find answers to a lot of the questions that we have about our culture and our city. I like this one. It's funny and it's kind of deep. Uh, so this slide shows disposable landscapes as a coffee table book project, which is what I'm going for, and gallery shows, which I go for as well. And then here, uh, the, the blog, Facebook page, Twitter feed, Vimeo, uh, uh, and YouTube channels. And this is all basically marketing. So look it up online. Like it on Facebook. Follow it on Twitter. If you're a gallery, show these photos. If you're a publisher, publish this book. Look at it. Consider it. It might just change the way you look at your city. Thank you.